Rockstars, this is Joe Zar from RockstarReviews.com and this is my brother David. Today we're going to be reviewing Feelings Buried Alive by Carol K. Truman. This is a book that I've been familiar with for a couple years now and I've been familiar with it because a couple of health professionals that I'm very close with have based a lot of their work off of this book when it comes to emotional release work and understanding how emotions impact your health and your life. And uh, I'm just going to briefly go through the book, just so the chapters and kind of the structure of it, and then my brother's going to talk about some of the more in-depth aspects of it. So, in the beginning, we got, there is 21 different chapters, and they range from just starting out explaining like your feelings and your emotions and vibrations and how that affects your body, and then it starts getting really in-depth of your childhood and explaining growing up and how that affects like you know the first couple of years and when you're in the womb and all these different things that affect your emotional states and further on in life which is a really good section I like that section a lot mm -hmm. very eye-opening some things in there you'll read and be like what like it just kind of I didn't know that yeah like it'll it make you kind of like you think a lot yeah things. think twice it's very informational not in the air hairy fairy like this is very informational stuff I love that part of the book and then it starts going into how to actually work through emotions and how to release them. because So that doesn't negatively affect your health. Yeah, I mean, basically, the basic, the basic premise is that your emotions are something that is an electrical, um, how do you say it, like a program almost. And when you have an emotion you don't process or deal with, most people just stuff it. They just push it out of their awareness. And like the... The title of the book says, when you bury those feelings alive or those emotions alive, they don't die. They affect your health and they affect your life. So in this book, she talks towards the end on how to work through them. And she has a really good thing called scripting, which we can talk about a little bit more. And then she actually goes through all the different emotions and stuff like that. So the end is more of like the how to work through them and how to fix some of the emotional baggage that can be affecting your health. Uh, this book is amazing. Uh, there's so much to it. I mean, I, I can't get it all in one video, but I can say this. Emotions are one of the big root causes of a health problem, and they can drive major diseases as well as simple things that, you know, you wouldn't even think an emotion would affect. So your body's electrical first, chemical second, and emotions are an electrical aspect of your being. So this is a hugely important book. Uh, we've, we've um, one of the, there's a few things uh, I want to talk about because I just recently read the book and there's some very beneficial things that uh, the book talks about that goes through that uh, are, I, th I think is very important. So one of the things in the very beginning, actually page 7, so when you get a, a look at page 7, um, she talks about the difference between feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. And this is very important because, um, and I'll just briefly go through it, feelings are like a feeling you have internally. Uh, a thought is just something your mind thinks. An emotion is a strong feeling where you act upon, so it's an outward action based on that internal feeling, that's the emotion. And then a belief is an uh, accepted truth, um, you know, that's kind of programmed in, you know, you're programmed with over time. So she goes through your feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs and explains those, and then throughout the whole book she talks about how your feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs can affect your health negatively, and how you can change your feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs and make it, and turn it, well, first of all, release it, like he mentioned, but then make it positive and uh, replace it with, uh, you know, uh, a forgiveness or, you know, acceptance or whatever it may be so that you actually reverse whatever that emotion was and you uh, bring back that organ or whatever was negatively affected in the body from that traumatic emotional or, you know, experience. Uh, this just helps you work through that. Um, so that's I really cool. Yeah, go ahead. There's one more thing I want to add there is that, and you'll learn this in this book, is that when you have an emotion, let's say it's anger, and you were 10 years old and you were at school, or whatever, I mean, I'm just making up a scenario here, but that emotion, when you suppress it, will actually hit an organ system or gland in your body, and it will affect that, it's like an energetic weight, it's like, it's like you try to lift your arm, and then it's like a weight holding you down, and so it's the same thing on the organ. So... And like he, he mentioned it briefly, and if you're not familiar with that, those emotions can affect specific organs. And that's why you want to work through them, because it's like a virus. It's like an energetic weight, and when you're able to release that, you're able to free up the organ or system of mm -hmm. to fully function. But it takes yeah. that weight off, if you yeah. know. 
Um, and then the other cool thing, uh, besides, you know, in the book she talks about, um, you know, going through uh, feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, and, you know, taking the negative, releasing it, and then uh, re-emphasizing. Uh, he mentioned scripting. She has, like, different scripts in the book, which I love, uh, which help you work through the emotions and help you, um, uh, I guess you could say release the emotion, but then kind of uh, bring the positive into that area of your life or, you know, that emotion or whatever. So I love that. I love she has like two or three scripts in the book, I believe, which is really cool. Um, and I actually uh, took those out of the book and then, you know, used them in my life um, through some different audio programming stuff that he actually kind of made. But that's a whole other story. Um, but the other thing I like in the book is that uh, at the end of the book, at page 226, she goes through um, different, uh, like, she goes alphabetical. So she takes all these, like, diseases and conditions and symptoms, and she alphabetically shows you what emotions are linked to those problems, which is absolutely awesome. So if you have uh, candida, uh, fungal infection, uh, acne, uh, uh, AIDS even, adrenal problems, addictions, um, I mean, those are just the beginning right here. And I mean, it goes through autoimmune things, uh, anxiety, uh, bloating, uh, bone problems, bowels. I mean, she goes through everything. And what's cool, and I'll read one real quick, like I'll read brain. Um, if you have uh, problems with your brain, it, uh, it could be linked to extreme nervousness, high anxiety, feeling unable to control life, not open to what you really feel, holding back and keeping things to yourself, and not relaxed enough to give of your knowledge. So that's like related to the brain. So she shows like the different things that could be causing these problems in you know areas in your health and body, and then she goes through all like I said alphabetically, and just goes through everything. I mean, knee problems, liver, uh, moles. Uh, nervousness, uh, I mean literally everything. So if you have any uh, health condition or symptom or something like that, you think it could be emotionally, emotionally related, this book is going to show you, you can just go through and find what you know, issue you're dealing with and see if it's re related or linked to an emotion. Because once you know that information, you can then take the proper and necessary steps to clear that emotion, maybe work with an emotional uh, a release work kind of like therapist or someone that does that kind of stuff, um, and to use the scripts in the book and really clear that emotion to help uh, bring your body back into health and alignment. So I really love that about it too. You know, that's what I'm here too, is a lot of times people go to like a psychologist and they were, and they talk about emotions or times when they were challenged or whatever, and it brings up the emotion into their conscious awareness, but because they don't release it, it actually is more detrimental. Yeah. Because it's like taking a problem, making it bigger because you, uh, you're ignoring it. And then not even working through it. So it's just yeah. more, it's not a good thing. So where this book is about finding that emotion and that, or that emotional trauma or baggage and then releasing it so it's completely gone. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, if, you had, if you're in the PC world, I mean this doesn't apply to Macs, but in a PC, you know, you get the computer, it's really fast at first. And then over the next two years, it gets slower and slower and slower because it gets bogged Thanks, down. Thanks, Bill Gates. <laughs> because it gets bogged down by... You know, all the different software and yeah. programs and whatever. So it's kind of interesting because as humans, we have that same ability or I guess you could say it kind of happens to us as well. When you have emotions you don't deal with or work through, over time, you get bogged, your system gets bogged down because you're not working through it. And so your functioning gets slower and your emotional clarity and happiness and all that gets bogged down. Mm -hmm. It's like a virus. And so when you go through and heal and clean it, it's like... In a it's very renewing. Yeah, like, like mentally, get, physically, spiritually, emotionally, like all areas. Yeah, if you have a computer, it's like doing a hard drive rewrite. You completely make it clean and new again. So, this right here, I mean, out of all the things that health in, has in your life and all the different aspects that you know affect your health, emotions are huge. Mm -hmm. And this book will put you on a very good path of understanding and being able to fully work through those emotions. Yeah. That have affected the past. And on top of that, emotions are probably the most underutilized, under, most under, non understood uh, area that affects your health that nobody deals with or even talks about. But, but the so, biggest of potential to change and improve yeah, your life. Yeah, so, and especially if, you, if you've been, you know, if you've had things happen to you in life that um, you don't want to talk to people about or it's just kind of uh, emotionally challenging, um, could be, you know, uh, abuse, rape, whatever it was. This is a must-read book. I highly recommend it because if you if you haven't worked through those things yet, they're going to affect you negatively. You really need to work through those things uh, in order to move on in life. So I highly recommend this book, um, really for anyone, but specifically. One of the top ten books I've ever read in my entire life, and I don't say that lightly. This book is phenomenal. 
phenomenal. It's a must read. Love it. You gotta have it. Yeah. And the cool thing uh, Carol does in the book too is uh, a lot of people in the medical community still think emotions and all these like thoughts and things don't have any effect on your health, but she actually um, shows scientific evidence and, and gives examples, concrete examples, um, that show how a thought pattern and a, that vibration will change the body physiologically the cells, the cell, at a cellular level. So that's really, really cool too. So I love how she goes into that. And um, it's just a great book. It's, it's definitely a must read. So um, that's pretty much it. Enjoy, for yeah. Have a wonderful day. And uh, this is Joe Zar, and this is David from Rockstar Reviews. Have a rockin' day. Click on the link below. We'll see you in the next video.